What is a SCCM? SCCM stands for System Center Configuration Management. SCCM also known as Configuration Manager. It is a Microsoft-based system management product. It allows administrators to efficiently manage multiple Windows-based computers in an enterprise network. It is mainly used for managing your devices in terms of software packages, software updates, asset management, task sequences. It supports many operating systems. There are versions such as Windows 10, iOS, Mac OS X, Android supported by operating system. What are the main features of SCCM? Operating System Deployment Windows 10 Management In Console Updates Asset Intelligence Inventory Reporting Endpoint Protection Compliance and Settings Management Power Management Software Update Management Client Health and Monitoring Addressing Queries Application Delivery Device Management Virtual Desktop Management What are the Site System Roles and Configuration Manager 2012? Site System Role Site Database Server System Server Component Server Management Point Data Warehouse Service Point Distribution Point Reporting Services Point State Migration Point Software Update Point System Health Validator Point Asset Intelligence Synchronization Point Application Catalog Web Service Point Application Catalog Website Point Endpoint Protection Point Fallback Status Point Out of Band Service Point Enrollment Proxy Point Enrollment Point Service Connection Point what are the common ports used for SCCM? HTTP port used for client-to-site system communication is port TCP-80. Default HTTPS, TCP-443. Server message block, TCP-445. Point-to-point tunneling protocol, PPTP, TCP-1723. RPC endpoint mapper, TCP-135. SQL Server Service Broker, TCP 402. SQL over TCP, 1433. Remote Control, TCP 2701. What's new in SCCM 1910? Console Improvements. Desktop Analytics Support. Application Management. Site Infrastructure. Bit Locker Management. Improvements to OS deployment. Software updates. Configuration manager console. Office management Office 365 Pro Plus. How to verify SCCM secondary site installation. To verify the installation of secondary sites. Open and check the log files mentioned below. On primary site server. Open min.log and config mgr prereq.log. On secondary site server. Open config ingress.log and sitecom.log. What are the global conditions? Global conditions are conditions used by requirement rules. Requirement rules set a value for a deployment type for a global condition. Example. Operating system equals is a global condition. A requirement rule is operating system equals Win 10. What is Site Server in SCCM? Site Server is a main role contains components and services required to run a central administration, primary, or secondary site. It is the classification on which the user is going to install the outline manager. It hosts services necessary for the relationship manager. Can you explain discovery methods in SCCM? In SCCM, discovery methods identify the computer and user resources that you can manage by using Configuration Manager. These methods can also discover the network infrastructure in your environment. Discovery creates a discovery data record for each discovered object and stores this information in the Configuration Manager database. 
What are the discovery methods in SCCM? Active Directory Forest Discovery Active Directory Group Discovery Active Directory System Discovery Active Directory User Discovery Azure Active Directory User Discovery Azure Active Directory User Group Discovery Heartbeat Discovery Network Discovery Server Discovery Delta Discovery Can you explain primary site in SCCM? It supports only a central administration site as a parent site. Also supports only secondary sites as child sites, and supports multiple secondary sites. Each primary site can support up to 250 secondary sites and up to 100,000 clients. Can you explain secondary site in SCCM? A secondary site controls content distribution for clients in remote locations across links that have limited network bandwidth. It's always child site of the primary site and it's managed by the SCCM console. It supports a maximum of 5,000 clients. For secondary sites SQL server must be installed on the site server computer and in a location if there are fewer than 500 clients, consider a distribution point instead of a secondary site. How to backup SCCM server? To backup, the scheduled tasks, do expand the site maintenance and site setting nodes and then click on specific tasks which you want to backup. Can you explain server locator point? Server locator point is used in an SCCM hierarchy for completion of client site assignment on the internet and help clients and find MP when they cannot find the data through a domain services. What is asset tracking? Asset tracking can be distinct as a system that needs to be kept in the path of updates. It is usually done when the system is shaped with a mandatory OS. Or asset tracking is the process of tracking the asset's location and it is also known as asset management. The main objective of asset tracking is to avoid asset theft and loss, gain valuable business information, and maximize operational efficiency. What do you know about fallback status point? Fallback status point provides an alternative location for clients to send messages to during installation when they cannot reach their management point. Fallback status point monitors client installation and identifies clients that are unmanaged because they cannot reach their management point. What is Delta Discovery? It is not a full discovery method in Configuration Manager but an option available for the Active Directory system, user, and group discovery methods. It can identify most changes to a previously discovered resource in Active Directory and use fewer resources than a full discovery site. Can you explain Heartbeat Discovery method? Heartbeat Discovery is the only discovery method that is enabled by default. It differs from other Configuration Manager discovery methods. It is runs on each computer client to create a DDR, Discovery Data Record. For mobile device clients, this DDR is created by the management point that is being used by the mobile device client. It runs either on a schedule configured for all clients in the hierarchy, or if manually invoked, on a specific client by running the Discovery Data Collection cycle on the Action tab and a Client's Configuration Manager program. When Heartbeat Discovery runs, it creates a DDR that contains the client's current information including network location, net BIOS name, and operational status details. It is a small file, about 1 kilobyte, which is copied to a management point, and then processed by a primary site. Can you explain network discovery? The network discovery searches your network infrastructure for network devices that have an IP address. It can search the domains, SNMP devices and DHCP servers to find the resources. This includes printers, routers, and bridges. What is BITS in SCCM? BITS stands for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. It is the configuration manager will make data transfers use the bandwidth available. There are no chance to choke the network while providing the data to the clients. How to take remote control of the client computer using SCCM console. Open SCCM console. 
navigate to all systems collections where your client computer will be populated. Right click on the client computer start remote tools. How to speed up software advertisement by forcing policy retrieval and evaluation cycle. First, open control panel. Navigate to configuration manager icon and click on it. As the config MGR window pops up switch to action tab and initiate the machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle by clicking on initiate action button as shown below. How to launch configuration manager client. Using control SMS CFGRC. How to check WMI repo, repair WMI repo. By using WinGNT slash verify repository or slash salvage repository. How to add details to a custom hardware inventory. By using NoidMIF files, the executive of a layout cannot be able to gather the details and it is connected with the customer gadget. Which log file is used to referred for client installation? By using ccm.log file on the SMS site server, located in the SMS, logs folder. On the client computer, review the ccm setup.log and client and client.msi.log file, located in percent window percent system 32 setup folder. Can you explain, how to transfer the data between the client and the SCCM server? By using bits and influence downloading the policy of the client. It is used for downloading the client to the machine at the time of starting a client attack. You can see the entries in the comsitup.log file when the bits is controlled. Can you explain, how to examine the condition of a Zeus server? By using Zeus Control Manager. This recorded file is connected with the element named zustral.log file. We can find this file on the Zeus server as an important element in the Microsoft Windows server. It permits the management for handling and a lots updates and hotfixes for the Microsoft devices for use in the trading background. What is Azure Add Device Identity? Azure Add Device Identity is a cloud-based identity which is used to authenticate securely with Cloud Management Gateway and the Management Point. How to extend Migrate SCCM to Azure The Extend Migrate to Azure.x tool helps to extend or migrate SCCM infra to Azure. You can start the process by creating an SCCM passive server in your Azure tenant. This tool would be really helpful in this scenario if you want to move your SCCM infra to Azure. Location of the tool, SCCM1909 cd.latest backslash smsetup backslash tools backslash extend migrate to azure backslash extend migrate to azure.x What are the different types of client installations? Log on script installation. Manual installation. Client push installation. Software update point based installation. Group policy installation. Microsoft Intune MDM installation. What are the SCCM client distribution methods? GPO-based startup script. GPO-based scheduled task. WDS centrally provided domain join images have the client pre-installed in the image. SCCM package-based scheduled task. SCCM server push. If needed, we may additionally perform a sub-based client install by moving the Zeus DNS alias to the 2012 sub-server. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.